And it's it's mostly just because the witch is like you have to play everything right. The other characters like you just get lucky. Like you get lucky with the thief on equipment that you loot with the robot, you get lucky because of the blackjack and pretty much that's it. Like the robots are really easy if you understand how blackjack works. <laughs> the warrior is designed to be easy. We don't we pretend the inventor doesn't exist. It's a garbage character. And the witch is just like all skill. Like all skill. Like there's a very little bit of luck with like your rolls. And that's about it. Everything else about the witch is just skill. Like playing your dice exactly when you need to play them, knowing when you can play things more than once. Like knowing when to throw your dice, knowing when not to throw your dice. So like infliction here is good. Reroll this. Play this. We don't need to play that. I'm an idiot, but we can do that. I could have thrown that for damage and I would have killed him. So this is where you start to realize that the uh, Penta's an idiot. He's just a dumb person, but at least you win. Come on, inventor can be fun. I despise the inventor. I despise the inventor. Why is it? Nudge. It's so bad. It's so bad. Like, it's either really bad or I just don't understand how it works. But it seems extremely bad. It just seems like the dumbest thing to get right away. The invent. See, I, I, I do disagree there. I don't think the inventor is fun. I think the inventor is the opposite of fun. Like, let me let me go through the characters here real quick. All right, warrior, basic ass barbarian character of a video game. You just walk in with two battle axes and you cut everything down in your path, and the only thing stopping you is your own hubris. Cool, cool. Okay. The thief. I don't personally think the thief is very good, but a lot of people like the thief. I get why people like the thief. Because it's just, it's dice games. You just, you just try to make as many dice as possible to just do little bits of damage at a time, culminating in this massive outburst of damage that no one could control, right? Little dice turned into big amounts of combos. He's the combo character. The robot, excuse me a second. Headbutted my freaking monitor. I gotta grab a thing. Got it. The robot is Blackjack, which is always fun because Blackjack is fun. Uh, it's gambling. It's Risk versus reward, it's like, I can afford to roll one more time, but it's at a four. So if I roll a five or a six, I lose. And, uh... Just generally, like, an extremely fun character. Like, my favorite character in the game is the robot. And it's by a long shot. The robot is extremely fun. And then the witch is just like D&D. &D. It's extremely hard. It's skill-based. You have to play exactly the way the game wants you to play. And if you don't, you're screwed. Whereas... The inventor is just... It's like... It's the opposite of everything else. The opposite of everything else. Because... No matter the mechanics, like the warrior has huge damage swings that you have to try and time correctly. The thief has dice rolls that you have to position correctly to make the most dice out of them. The robot, you have to time your jackpots and uh, busts correctly to use the most amount of dice and the most amount of damage in the right order. The witch is based around playing your spells in the right order, playing them in the right spots, using your dice in the most proper manner possible, getting your crystal ball charge, and then picking up the HP after the fight, 
because the more dice you get, the more spells you can cast. And then the inventor is basically just like, okay, every run you throw something that you liked away, right? Uh, like, oh, this is a cool piece of equipment. It would be a shame if, uh, if I had to get rid of it. <laughs> I just don't like it. I just don't like it. It's a cool idea, it just feels against what the game is supposed to be. The game is about dice rolls and timing, like, timing your, your, your combos. The inventor's like, okay, this button does something, okay, I do that every turn. Now I have to use the equipment that I'm stuck with because I have no choice. You don't have a choice. I think that's the thing that kills the characters. You don't have a choice. Ooh, magic missile. Magic missile on the four, baby. Spellbook. Magic missile. Duped. I think that was my mistake last run. I gave up on the magic missile too soon. I also didn't grab that HP. Hopefully the pirate doesn't murder us. Magic missile. Crystal ball. Magic missile. Magic missile. <laughs> 16 damage. You go ahead and you do that shit, my friend. Because you want to know what? Get freaking... Hold on, watch this. Get freaking wrecked. Yeah, okay, here's here's the real trigger for me with the inventor. The idea is cool. Um, get rid of infliction. The idea is cool. It, it's a, literally a straight upgrade of infliction, for those that are curious. Magic dagger's reusable, and it's one less damage, but you can use it more than once. The... Okay, cauldron, because I can use it twice. I'm gonna get another magic missile out here. I don't even care. If the inventor didn't limit you to like randomly choosing one of your equipment, and it was the player's choice of all the equipment you you had, it would be a way better character. It would be a way better character if the player had to had the ability to choose what they got rid of. And I stand by that. We roll into a. Reroll into an even. Seven damage. That's like, that turn is the perfect example of the witch. Making the best of what your situation is by getting rid of what he, he, he weakened my shit. Fuck it, get rid of it. Like, was it a seven, like this, it was a seven damage. You know what? Fucking get rid of it. I'm gonna put magic dagger on that bitch. Reusable, fuck him. Six damage. Get, get shit on stereo head. Don't be afraid of changing your equipment. Do not be afraid of swapping out your spells. Don't fall in love with your upgrade slot. Like, the ability to constantly shuffle out your spells and, and use things in the best situation possible is why the witch is so cool. And that's because it's exactly how D&D works. Preparing your spells before a combat and having to use those spells in the right order at the right situation to do the most damage to protect you, uh, protect you and your party. Like, that's how D&D works when you're playing as a wizard or a witch or a warlock. Or like even like a bard or like any any class in DD, really. If you break it down to it, any class in DD. <laughs> yeah, Holomir's is just extremely good. I feel like I didn't use Holomir's enough last round. That, that, that might have screwed us a bit. Keymaster, get him out of the way. He's an evil bastard, but it's the Alexa Kid character, for those that don't know. Uh put magic dagger on here, and we'll just do the six damage. Because we can't use magic missile on that turn. So we might as well do one plus damage on it. So he unlocks that. He does three damage, returns the dice, but he can't do anything with the second dice. We did not get a six. I'm going to hope for a six out of Crystal Ball. We did not get a six. Uh, three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen. He rolled a two. Of course he did. I hate Keymaster, man. Uh... Okay, so you do Magic Missile, then you do six. Okay. 
The Avenger is the only character in the game whose strategy is based entirely around equipment management and rotation, so that's probably why she feels off. See, it wouldn't be a pro it wouldn't be a problem with the rotating equipment if it wasn't like, here's the three you get to choose from. Unfortunately, your shit equipment that's in your backpack you don't even want isn't part of the choice. If you could choose between all of your equipment, it would be so much better. The fact that it's just like three of the equipment that you need to win, you literally need to win, and that's kind of what screwed me on all my r inventor runs, is like, oh, cool, I have scrap metal in my backpack. Unfortunately, it never got, like, or not scrap metal, that one got, always got offered. What's the one that's uh, the, the shield one? It always gets offered up, so you get rid of it right away. That is scrap metal, right? It always gets offered up, and then you offer it away, and you're like, I kind of want to hang on to it as my mulligan just in case, you know, hey, I got to get rid of flamethrower or the hammer. It's like, I don't want to get rid of flamethrower or the hammer. I can't guarantee I'm going to be able to do damage down the line, so I need to keep these two. But if I get rid of scrap metal, that's not a guarantee get rid of. So then my next turn, I have to get rid of one of the equipment that I want. If it was player choice, like every other character's player choice, I can choose not to push the calculate button as the robot. I can choose not to split my dice as the thief. I can choose not to use my fury as the as the warrior, and I can choose not to change out my spells as the witch. As the inventor, it does not give the choice to the player. It gives the choice to RNG, and I can't stand that. I cannot stand pure RNG in a game that requires at least a little bit of skill. I have so many evens, and the only odd I have here is ice shards. So I'm just going to get rid of the cauldron. Level up in two, so I might as well just fight Sneezy. But yeah, that's my point. You've all welcome in. It's good to see you again. Hopefully you're well. All Amir's immediately. Uh, I'm going to Golden Cauldron, because then I can guarantee a plus one dice for the next turn. Sneezy's a rough one, but he only rolled a one, so that's fine. You want to see how Sneezy would be absolutely broken? <laughs> Okay, watch this nonsense. Even plus one dice. Even plus one dice. Even. Six damage. Five damage, rather. So I'm going to show you guys the uh, Freeze is bad against Sneezy. <gasps> no, Freeze is good against Sneezy. Wow, Freeze is really good against Sneezy. You just broke my brain. You just literally shattered my entire brain right there. Wow, that's insanely powerful as Sneezy. Holy shit buckles. You just shattered my whole brain. Then magic missile. Here. Then crystal ball. Then even. Then ice shard. Then five. In the right order. But here's how you would break Sneezy. And this is why Sneezy is... Tough, but he's not impossible. How you break Sneezy is you don't minimize, you don't give him the minimum of two on his split, and that would make him the worst fight in the game. Guaranteed, worst fight in the game. I really like Gold Cauldron with this build. Like, I really like Gold Cauldron with this build. That's five ice damage. That's bad. So. You froze this, which I'm honestly fine with. Because I can get a six, and I can bump that into there. I can even for this. I can gold cauldron again. Actually, I might I I actually want magic dagger here. I'm actually fine with that turn. <laughs> Interesting turn. Interesting turn. I think in that situation for her, I would have done... Seven. Say, what do I... I don't want to get rid of this, because I want to do this. And I want to put this here, so I can put this there. And then if I do six damage here, that benefits that. And then if I cast this, I can put a magic missile here. Do seven. So then five dice. 
freeze is honestly fine. I win. Yeah, not being able to rearrange your spellbook is a is a bit of a an oversight. Catastrophe? I don't understand catastrophe. Someone needs to inform me why catastrophe is good. And why hex is good. I feel like I'm missing something with those items. I really feel like I'm missing something with those items, because I... I I mean, they could be so good if they just did some damage. Like, one damage, and then the stat effects would be fine. So you hollow mirrors right away, get the get the, the fight here. Uh, and then you duplicate to try and get some uh, extra evens. I am sorry that I'm, I'm just continuing to play the witch, but... So yeah, we're just gonna even here. Uh, I am gonna crystal ball to hope to get magic dagger. Just some, just some solid damage to open up. It's actually fine. Three six. So we do the five, eight. This <laughs> is the big brain. Big brain. Again, don't get adjusted. Don't get used to your items. Throw that freaking magic dagger out of there. Get a magic missile for seven. All right, snowman is cool. Hip <laughs> Uh I'm gonna get a gold cauldron out here right away. I think getting a cold gold cauldron right away is pretty good. Guaranteed evens, even if he, he freezes me. Guaranteed evens. Turns any of my even. <sighs> yeah, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna roll this into an even. We're gonna do 12 damage. Hex and Catastrophe are both puzzling. They seem. Did he just roll solid evens? What an asshole. Catastrophe are both puzzling to me. They seem like pretty good high investments for statuses. We could be good. Like, here's. Uh, if Catastrophe did one damage, if it did what even, even Gold Cauldron, it's not just get an even dice. It at least does the one damage. It, it, it makes you feel good for spending the dice. It at least does the one damage. Is that one damage, like, anywhere remotely good? Not even close. That one damage is actually, like, horrible. Uh, so just honestly just do this. I have no reason to use Magic Dagger here, because Magic Dagger without Hall of Mirrors is bad. Magic Dagger without Hall of Mirrors is bad, because I'm guaranteed 7 from this anyway. That's bad. That's better. 5,000 IQ. I think that was, like, maybe my best play as the Witch. That, that made me feel legit good. See, Illuminate is really good. I love this spell. I love this spell. Especially in the upgraded slot. Illuminate Plus gives you four of that dice. But I don't know what I'd get rid of for it. Maybe Duplicate? Maybe you maybe you dump the Duplicate? Because it's any dice. Is it just like a better... It's just a better Duplicate and I'm an idiot. It's just straight up a better Duplicate and I'm just a dumb person. Uh, freeze is extremely good for you. So I'm gonna do five freeze. I'm gonna get the magic missile out here. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna get the hall of mirrors out here. Do that. I'm gonna golden cauldron for next turn. Most hated enemy? Loudbird's up there, but my, my least favorite enemy in the entire game is the bully. Bully is my least favorite. 
I think Bully is too strong. <laughs> I think Bully is way too strong. So if I reroll this into an even, we can even here, bump this, dump this, pump that, wump this, jupe this, sweet baby Christ. We can do this, then we can do this, and then we can do this. And now we have six dice next turn. Why bully? Because there's no counter to him. There's absolutely no co counter to his abilities. There's no way to actually, like, stop him. As it were. Uh, I don't like any move but this. And then this. I probably could have used uh, the magic missile for that, but I, I'm going to prioritize the freeze here. Oh, he's stuck with the six. And the burn. This motherfucker. And no... Level up. Thank you. Uh, double, double upgraded slot or double prepared slot? Let's take the prepared slot on this one. And maybe, honestly, Gold Cauldron might be better here. Guaranteed, uh, guaranteed evens. Maybe you try to be cute with the Illuminate. But I really like Gold Cauldron on that slot. Uh, ooh. I'm sorry, Ice Shard. You've done you've done a good job, but Illuminate Inferno. Illuminate Inferno. Okay, we got Banshee Kraken, Rat King. And Direwolf. This is actually not a bad floor. I'm a little bit worried about the... I'm going to keep Hall of Mirrors there for now. Yeah, I'm going to keep Hall of Mirrors there for now. And I'm going to have four dice, so I'm just going to straight up put an Inferno up there, too. Okay, Curse is bad. Curse is bad. Hopefully we curse this. Yes. Okay, that's what I wanted. So now we can do this. Seven damage. This. I'm just going to be real honest with you guys. I don't see the point <laughs> of... Okay, we're going to get six damage and a burn anyway. I don't see the point of using blind on an enemy. Does it actually affect the enemy at all? I mean, it's AI. Does it even affect them? Like, I just don't... I don't actually... I don't see a reason to inflict blind on something else. Okay, try to spend the four here. It didn't work. Uh, spend this here. Okay, that's cursed. That's fine, because then I can just do this and do 11 damage. Does cur does the blind actually affect... I know locked and stuff do, but does blind actually affect the opponent? I'd like to see an actual study done on this. Does it actually affect them? I shouldn't have gone to the shop first, but I don't have any money. Now, Banshee just does the silence and curse, right? Yeah. Very, very high DPS, so freeze here would have been nice, but uh, instead I'm an idiot. Inferno, and then burn two dice. You've got four dice, so I'm going to be getting DPS here anyway. And a curse. Rude. Come on. Curse. Curse. Damn it. It didn't curse me at all. What an absolute mind-bending situation. 
So nine damage, two freeze, and a curse coming, because of course you rolled a two. Okay, go for the eight. Reroll. It's cursed. That's fine. Go for... Go for the Inferno. Get the KO. Without having to worry about anything. From my experience, it does, but it's minimal and hard to notice. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, it's also minimal and hard to notice when it's done on you. Because <laughs> blind is pretty easy to get around. Are you as optimal as you would like to be? No. But it's still pretty easy to get around. And we'll pop an Inferno out here for next turn because we got four dice. This guy sucks. Rat King is all poison and he can just stack poison over and over again. That's a really good first turn. That's like a really good first turn. I can reroll this whole for an even. Get those burns on him, man. I'm burning him. That was the stupidest thing he's ever done in his life. How could you, sir? Get another dice. Reroll this. Even. Done. New Inferno. Get two Infernos. Six dice, two Infernos. We win. Oh, because he's going to do the double, triple poison. The quadruple poison. He's not giving up. There's not a second or a day in this man's life. He's a fucking G. What are you doing? Oh, my God. Rat King. <laughs> Enough. <laughs> you son of a bitch. He's <laughs> like... <laughs> Why would I roll two ones when I could roll nine sixes? Deal 20 damage, burn all dice. I feel like I would be dumb not to get this. What an absolute freaking madman. Did you see that shit? What a genius he was. Okay, we gotta keep the evens. And, uh... I can't meteor right now, so that's kind of unfortunate. Okay, Meteor might have been a misplay on the fives. The double five sucks. He can't curse me, but he can blind me. Ooh. Okay, well. Reroll it. Gold Cauldron? Sure. All mirrors. Never used Eliminate. I know. Okay, this is getting... It's getting too much. Guaranteed win if he doesn't kill me. Ooh! Win! Win! Level up! Double upgraded slots. Okay, boss time. This is the first time I've been to the boss as the witch chat, so... <laughs> and it's at this moment that I'm going to just do a little quick uh, wink. I'm going to hit the, the marker spot on the chat. I'm going to let Meow, my lovely mod, who's probably not even here anymore. Which is super unfortunate, because I actually kind of needed her, and she decided to leave. Uh, I'll try to remember that this is the witch run that we might win, because... 
If we win as the witch, this has to go on YouTube. And I'm extremely mad at Meow for not being here for this. Madison. I've never seen this person before. I've never seen this person before. Uh... I don't know, is this the right setup here? Maybe Inferno... Maybe Inferno Magic Missile's the right setup. Fuck it. I did not check what uh, Meteor Plus did. And I'm sorry about that chat. Okay, Hollow Mirrors straight up. Gold Cauldron straight up. She has 66 HP. I gain a Crystal Ball and 14 HP. Double burn? That's... I'm actually glad you double burned me, lady. I'll reroll the one. Get the double sixes. Uh, reroll the one. Do seven damage. Get a second Inferno out here. We have four dice. We could potentially win this turn if she doesn't somehow kill us. going to do four damage. God, the witch win. It's been so long. It's been so long. We get a brand new complete coffin. Quit with the resub for 20 months. For some reason, I don't think it made sound. Did it make sound? Well, well, hasn't it been all too long? It's good to see you. It did make sound. I just didn't hear it. Okay. Thank you for the freaking 20 months, Grim. Absolute insanity. Oh my god. That's That's four of them. We got warrior kill, thief kill, robot kill, and witch kill. We just got to get the inventor kill. <laughs> 